to Lavender. Today we're going to talk about how to plan out your life from the big picture to the little details. So this video is going to be a little different. It's an interactive exercise, which means that you're going to work along with the video. Before I get into it, I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. I'm going to be giving out, yes, three Artists of Life workbooks for you guys to help you plan your best year. If you don't know what this is, this is a workbook that I created with a bunch of exercises inside. I mean, Oh, this is my copy where there's like, I've actually filled it out. But if you want to learn more, there are links there and down below to learn more about this workbook. So when planning out your life, I personally like to start with the big picture, the ultimate life goals. Like what is your grand vision for your life? What kind of legacy do you want to leave on this earth? These are really big questions and it's very daunting to answer. I understand completely. And I understand that depending on where you are in your life's journey, you might not have figured it out just yet. Because when I was in college, I have no idea what that big picture looked like. So just it's up to you. If you know what your big picture idea is, then take this time to jot down everything that you want to accomplish in your life. What are your big dreams for your life? And if you're scared and you feel like this section is too difficult, then just fast forward the video, continue on. And then later you can come back and do this big picture section at the end. It's also up to you what timeline you want to use for your big picture goals. So big picture can mean five years from now, 10 years from now, even 50 years from now. So it's up to you what you want to use. There's no right or wrong way. Whatever inspires you, whatever drives you and motivates you. So if you need help in this section, I'd recommend you check out some other videos I have. I have one called how to figure out what to do with your life, which helps you find your ikigai, aka sweet spot on what to do with your life. And then another video called how to plan your dream life which goes into an exercise called vivid vision that helps you like really illustrate and paint out the picture of your ideal life All right, now that you've mapped out your big picture goals, put them in your phone, on your computer, on your wall, put them where you will read them daily because you wanna constantly be reminded of where you're headed, where you're going. So your big picture goals are essentially your compass in life. They help you steer yourself in the right direction so that you don't veer off your path for too long. Sometimes if we don't have those big picture goals and dreams in mind, we end up just settling in another direction or we get lost and you know, what I mean so you want to focus on what you want out of life and make sure you're taking small steps in that direction it's okay to change your big picture goals because you know nothing is set in stone so along the way if you feel like these goals don't suit you anymore feel free to change them all right now it's time to set your yearly goals and I'm sure a lot of you have done this already but it's good to kind of get a refresh now that you've elaborated on your big picture goals how can you break that down and how can you pick what is the next important steps for me to take in order to get close to that dream life. So just, I don't know, look at your goals, ask yourself, what is possible for me to accomplish in one year to take me closer to my dreams? I know that the dreams might seem really far off right now. But don't worry about that. Just focus on what's the next immediate step that can take me one baby step closer. So write out your goals and don't forget to dig deep into all the different areas of life, not just like career, but also like your health, your relationships, personal growth, creativity, spirituality, adventure goals, whether you have like travel goals, explore what your dream life looks like in all of these different areas and then decide what goals you want to focus on for 2018. All right, now that you have your yearly goals written down, look at your goals and decide what you want to prioritize to focus on for this first quarter of 2018. So the quarter is three months. So this first quarter is January through March. So a lot can be done in three months. You just have to plan to focus on something for three months in order to get it done. So it's better to focus on one thing instead of multiple things at once. So when you focus on one thing, you can like complete that one thing in the set amount of time, whether whether it's one month, two months, or three months. But if you try to attack all your goals at once, then you're going to take longer to accomplish those goals. And it might feel like you won't pick up momentum because you're like, oh, nothing's moving or everything's moving so slowly. So it's better to like focus, pick one, two, or three things max to focus on for the quarter. 
All right, now that you've decided what you want to focus on this quarter, it's time to break it down even further into your next action items. So for each goal or focus you've created for this quarter, break down what are the next immediate next step action items that I need to take in order to achieve this goal. So brainstorm as much as you can think of and don't worry, it doesn't have to be an exact order. All that matters is that you're like putting all the steps onto paper. All right, now that you have your next action items list going, it's time to prioritize yet again and star the top three action items that you need to do first. So prioritize what is the most important action items that you could take towards these goals. Star three of them right now. So the action items that you've starred, make sure you put them into your to-do list, your planner, whatever your system is, make sure you put it somewhere so that you remember to get it done ASAP. So personally, I like to use an app like Wonderlist or Trello to decide what to do to do next, but it's totally up to you. You can use whatever system you want. By the way, if you find that some of your goals are more ongoing and lifestyle based, you can't really break them down into like to-do lists and stuff, then those goals should go onto your ideal habits list. So for example, if you want to exercise more, eat healthier, meditate every day, those are more ongoing goals and lifestyle goals. So those you would put onto your habits list. And for your ideal habits list, I would break it down into daily habits and weekly habits. For me, I like to break down my daily habits into like morning and evening routines. So morning habits would be like meditating and writing morning pages. Evening habits would be reading and doing skincare and then weekly habits would be doing yoga and exercising two or three times a week. Make sure you also keep this habits list on your phone or write it down somewhere so that you see what you're working towards and it's helpful if you create like a tracking system to track how often you're doing these habits so that you're accountable for yourself. For example, in the workbook, we have a habit tracker where I've been ticking off all the times I've been doing these habits so you actually get like a visual for how you're doing towards your goals. Lastly, I'll leave you guys with this quote. Most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. This means that we have a kind of warped perception of time. We think that we could accomplish so much in one year and so we set all of these goals and then we feel down when we don't meet all of our goals every year. But on the flip side, if you look at the past 10 years, how much you've accomplished in 10 years is quite amazing. So if you look forward the next 10 years, you can actually accomplish so much more than you think. So give yourself a little more time to reach those big picture goals. I know that naturally we want to get everything done ASAP. We want to meet all these goals. We want to be successful like yesterday, basically. But great things take time. So be patient, persevere, keep going. Maybe don't set so many crazy goals in one year. Just really prioritize and handpick what's the most important to you and take it slow, slow and steady. You know what I mean? So now it's time to move on to our giveaway. So if you want a chance to win this Artist of Life workbook, then comment down below on what is your focus for this quarter and feel free to share more of your goals. Feel free to share your big picture goals, but I'll be picking three winners from the comment section down below. And if you win, I'm going to comment on your comment. So make sure you have like the YouTube notification turned on so that you know that I comment your message. Normally I do my giveaways on Instagram because it's easier to like DM people on Instagram. I've had people complain like, why don't you ever do giveaways on YouTube? So this time I'm going to try to do a giveaway on YouTube. The problem is it's hard to like get in contact with you guys because no one really checks their messages on YouTube. I mean, we're going to figure a system out. If you've won, I will comment on your comment and then instructions will follow Hopefully you reply and then we'll communicate the details later. Anyway, if you want a sure chance of getting the Artist of Life workbook, then you can check out my shop right there in the corner. Link is also down below. We're going to probably sell out of these by, I don't know, March or April. So if you want a copy, get it in the beginning of the year before it sells out because I'm not ordering any more stock. Just letting you guys know. All right. Have a beautiful day. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.